If you haven't played Kafka's Companion Quest, you'd want to go play it right now, especially if you're interested in the lore. While the Kafka patch did bring the prolific Stellaron Hunter as a summonable character, there isn't any significant Trailblazer quest that came along with it. However, we did get somewhat of a lore dump. During the course of Kafka's companion quest, we get into a little bit of a game with Kafka, where both the Trailblazer and Kafka herself can ask the other two questions each. Both parties have to answer both questions, but one must be a lie and the other must be the truth. This little game, despite it being no longer than a couple of minutes, gave some really interesting lore details on a myriad of subjects. So in this video, let's go over some of her responses, more specifically her truthful ones that relates to the main character and Kafka herself, and see what exactly it means for the lore. Before we dive into that, if you want to see more Honkai Star Rail content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Now obviously, this sort of content has to come with a huge spoiler warning as we will be discussing the lore and a quest that just recently released. So if you haven't played it or just don't want to know any of this, then perhaps I might suggest a different video from my channel. Aside from the spoilery nature of this video, the footage you'll see is mostly my playthrough of it, but I will be discussing all the possible truthful responses based on those shared by other players. So if what I'm talking about doesn't match what is shown in the video, this is why. Also, I'm not going to explain how you can determine if a response from Kafka is considered truthful. There's a whole set of steps to figure this out and there's a few people who have explained this in quite some detail. So let's start with the first truthful response. A response to the question of who am I? Now, this is a pretty big one because up till this point, there has been a lot of ideas and theories around who exactly the trailblazer is. And the truthful answer to this is that the main character is an artificial body, one created specifically to house the power of the Stellaron. Now, based on what she reveals, Kafka doesn't seem to be the person who created us and we were passed to her from Elio, which implies that he had a hand in either creating the main character or perhaps did so with the help of others. From the moment of the main character's birth, Kafka mentions that she was the one responsible with training and teaching the main character about general things like how the world worked and how to fight and survive. This is why we've always had flashbacks and recollections of Kafka in the past. At the end of this companion quest, Blade even mentions that we were once inseparable from Kafka which further corroborates this story. Kafka also explains that the reason why the main character doesn't remember any of this is because their memories were wiped right before the events of the Herta space station transpired. So it seems that the main character was technically at one point associated with the Stellaron Hunters, but whether as an ally or just as a tool is unknown. Kafka also reveals to us why the main character's artificial body was able to host a Stellaron, which is another question that can be asked. While the Trailblazer was mentioned to be created for the sole purpose of hosting a Stellaron, Kafka expands on this further by saying that our body has been altered and transformed by the power of an Eon. This supposedly makes the main character immune to Stellaron contamination and why we can house one without any ill effects. Now as I mentioned before, it's unlikely that Kafka herself had a hand in creating the main character and thus this might just be her understanding of it or perhaps a simplified version of what Elio told her. With Elio being theorized to be a follower of the Eon of Finality, Terminus, that's probably the easiest assumption to make as to who granted the main character disability, but there's really no further confirmation of this in any way. We don't even really know what the Stellaron even is and which Eon has the capability to actually contain it. It might be that any Eon could accomplish this, or perhaps only a handful are powerful enough to do so, which makes it difficult to guess where this power could come from. All we know is that the main character seems to be a one-of-a-kind vessel, at least according to Kafka, but no details on how they were able to manufacture the Stellaron immunity. Finally, Kafka's exposition reveals one last thing about the main character, and that's our connection to Kafka herself as well as her own personal goals. You see, what Kafka really wants and why she's following Elio in the first place is to change something about herself. 
By her own admission, she has no mechanism for fear due to her past and has been going through life with a proverbial void in her mind and heart that she can't seem to fill. According to Elio, her connection with the main character is one step towards correcting this and why she was the one in charge of taking care of the trailblazer. If everything develops based on Elio's script, then it's implied that the main character would eventually change Kafka and fill the void she currently has. On top of that, Kafka also mentions that this relationship will ultimately change the main character as well, though what that refers to we don't really know. It could likely be changing our artificial nature or perhaps something else entirely. Because of this, the trailblazer's destiny is very much linked to Kafka, and by the end of the story, they both seem to benefit each other in some way, at least according to Elio. That's functionally all the lore reveals we get about the main character and their connection to Kafka. There are a few other things like her past as well as Blade's lore that was revealed in this quest, but I'll cover those in another video. Now all of this lore reveal is without a doubt mind-blowing. There's so much exposition here that just clears up a whole bunch of things that we've only been able to speculate about in the past. However, it goes without saying that while Kafka does seem to adhere to the rules of the game giving one truth and one lie, there is honestly no way to tell whether she could just have been lying about everything as even the main character is given the ability to ignore the rules entirely. The Stellaron Hunters, especially Elio, wants to bring about a very, very specific future he has foreseen, and thus all of this could just be an exercise in preparation for that goal. A setup that is necessary to put the main character on a path that will materialize into the future that he wants. So this whole exercise could just be her propping us up by telling us things that may lead us down a path that both Kafka and Elio wants us on. I do think however that most of these are just straight up lore expositions though, rather than a complicated web of lies and manipulation because some of the things she mentions is corroborated by responses of others, as well as lore revealed through other media like information Hoyovers themselves release in promotional material. But I feel I still have to mention the possibility of all this being fake. While it's interesting to discuss and ponder these things, I personally have no idea whether we can really take these truths at face value, so believe what you will. I think that at the very least, the things revealed here might be true at this moment, or rather what Kafka just believes to be true, and in the future, things might change. We'll just have to wait for the story to unfold in order to see which version of the truth actually materializes. If you enjoyed the video, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comments whether you think Elio is lying to Kafka or not. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one and as usual, have a nice day.